Hey guys, and welcome back to Gabbing with Jessa. In today's video, I have another solo book versus movie for you, and it is on one of my favorite movies of 2018. I love this movie from the very start, and I actually didn't realize it was based off of a book. So today, I'm going to be comparing the book and the movie of Simon vs. the Homo Sapiens Agenda and Love, Simon. Simon vs. the Homo Sapiens Agenda by Becky Albertalli is a 2015 novel that was later adapted into a 2018 teen romantic comedy drama film called Love, Simon, starring Josh Dumal, Jennifer Gardner, Nick Robinson, and Katherine Langford. Like all these other videos, there will be spoilers for both the book and the movie, so continue on because you have now been warned. Reading this book, I was able to get through it relatively quickly. It is a very easy read, definitely your typical YA teen comedy drama based in high school, and and so it only took me a few days to actually get through it. I probably could have if I had the time, you know, sat through and read it all in a day. Compared to the movie, I did see the movie first and I actually do have a lot of opinions about it because I actually think I really like the movie better. So one thing that was a major, major difference from starting this book, knowing everything that I had seen what was going to happen like in the movie is that we start off with Martin finding Simon's emails. That is the very first thing. Whereas in the movie, of course, there's this whole long sequence of Simon being like, oh, I have a great life. I'm just a normal kid, but I have a secret. And you know, he's going to school. We're learning about his friends, everything fun like that. And then on the Tumblr page is where he finds out there's, there's another closeted gay kid in school. And then he starts sending the emails and then Martin eventually finds them. And I really like that movie point better because I was able to get to know the characters. I was able to get to learn about them, what they were going through, their family lives, everything like that. Whereas this book, it just hits us real nice and quick. And I don't know, maybe if I had read the book before I saw the movie, I would have felt differently about that, but I don't know, it just felt like we were missing a whole good part of what we could have known and learned about these characters throughout the book and fallen in love with them, like I did during the movie, but in this book, we just get right to the point. Another one of the things that I noticed is that in the book, Leah has a crush on Nick, which is one of their friends, and in the movie, Simon, you know, has the fake relationship, he tries to, you know, push them together. So Abby will end up going out with Martin and, you know, the whole big scenario that happens. But in the movie, Leah has a crush on Simon. And I think that just makes more sense of how the characters are interacting and feeling. I don't know. It just seemed like her having a crush on Nick really didn't have anything to do with you know, the whole big problems that they had when Simon came out as gay or unintentionally came out because of what Martin did by exposing him. But I don't know, it just didn't really, again, maybe I just read it wrong and I just didn't really get the same vibe from it, but it just didn't feel like that relationship, that crush or anything like that made sense to me. I know that there is a second book by this author in the whole uh, Simon versus Homo sapien world. And it is about Leah. So I'm really curious to see if that will give me a better explanation on her character and what the book her was going through rather than movie her, because I really like that Leah had a crush on Simon. It just made more sense to me. One thing I really did like in the book is that every chapter, it alternates between an event going on and then an email between Simon and Blue, and then an event going on and an email between Simon and Blue. And I really thought that was a fun way to go about this. It was a very modern way to express feelings, interacting with other people, especially through anonymity. One thing I did notice is that Simon had a different email address in the book than he did in the movie. He still signed it as Jacques, but the email addresses were different. Not that it was that really that big of a deal, just something that I noticed too when I was reading the book and watching the movie. I'm trying to think, and honestly, I can't really remember much of this book compared to the movie, whenever I think about the story, the movie just comes to my head. It is what I liked better. I mean, what else is different? Uh, Simon and Blue in the end actually do get a little alone time, which was really nice. Uh, the older sister who is not existent in the movie, you know, is able to steer the parents away for a little bit so they can get some alone time, which I thought was really nice and really sweet that it was able to end on them just acting like normal teenagers in high school. And it was really, really nice. But other than that, this book didn't really hit me or stick with me as much as the movie did, which I'm kind of disappointed about. I'm really disappointed about. And so, I don't know, I just didn't really 
get much from this book. I wish that I had. Maybe again, if I had seen or read the book before I've seen the movie, that could have been it. But I don't know, it just really, I don't have much to say on it. Like in the movie, the vice principal and the drama teachers are the best characters. I will fight anyone who says differently because I thought that they are hysterical, or at least vice principal, he's just awkward and hysterical. And then the drama teacher while also being funny. She's also very stern and she is quick to shut down any kind of bullying and they were the best. I loved them. Also the relationship in the movie between Simon and Leah is just so pure and it just, made me feel so good and they're just you know the best friends even though she has a crush on him and she's heartbroken that she he will never feel the same way about her but i don't know there's their relationship just made my heart warm everything about this movie was just so heartwarming it was just a movie that i need to watch when i need to feel good about myself or just feel good about other things because it just puts me in a great mood like when he comes out to his parents and then when he individually talks to them, those scenes just make me cry. Josh Newmall and Jennifer Gardner are fantastic. I loved them so much. Uh, this is just a very tender, heartwarming movie and I love it. I'm sorry, literally everything I like about the movie better than what the book had to offer me. And I know that's really weird to say because usually Books are so much better than movies, but in this case, I can't say that I like the book better. I just can't. It just doesn't connect with me. It doesn't hit me. It doesn't make me feel those things that I got out of the movie. And I am going to read the second one because I am really curious to continue on in this series because, I mean, I, it, it's not like I didn't enjoy it. I gave it three out of five stars on Goodreads, which for me, I don't see three as being a very negative number. I just see it being very average. I enjoyed it. I didn't dislike it, but I didn't really like it. I, I just thought it was average. And so I'm going to have to give a point to the movie. I'm going to have to say that the movie Love, Simon is better than the book Simon versus the Homo Sapiens Agenda. I really hate to say that. I do, but I just, I can't, I can't say that this is better than the movie for me. I mean, I know that this is some people's very favorite books and I appreciate that because I can see definitely where it's coming from, but I just like the movie better. So that is how I feel on Love, Simon, the book versus the movie. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Did you see both? Which one did you like better? Do you agree with me? Do you disagree with me? I want to know all of that and more down in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel, do all those fun things. Uh, really helps me out. And until next time, keep on gabbing. <laughs>